idle speed right now is what it is just idle speed i'm gonna have to put you down hopefully you don't fall in hopefully you don't fall down there you go that's it i guess they're done for the season they're power washing their boat over there that's what you hear in the background somebody power washing their boat Here's one of my dock mates behind me. If he was over there, he'd actually take the ropes from me. But since he's not there, I gotta try to get this in by myself. So this is docking the boat by yourself in the marina. You can go frontwards and backwards, but don't forget when you go backwards, it's gonna, it's gonna kind of throw your body frontwards. And this is why I have so much buoys at my boat. On the, on the marina, in case you come in too hot, you bounce right off of this. I guess we're trying to get into right here. All right, angle it a little bit. Try it if you got to go backwards, go backwards a little bit. It doesn't matter. It slows you down enough. I turned it to the side. See how it's completely backwards now. I got it to the side, so I'm going to come straight in a little bit more. No full power. Unless you feel like yourself, you're losing control a little bit, then you give it a little bit more power. But if not, I just let it coast in there. See, now I'm not in gear at all. I just did enough to give me a nice good push to get closer to it. I'm by myself. I'm not backing up traffic, so it does not matter to me. With the wind and the current behind me, it is uh, pulling me. This can reach out 40 feet. So all you do is reach out and grab this and pull you in. See, that's why I swear by having these sticks. Ah. There's gale winds right there. And we are in. So the first thing you're gonna do is wrap one line around and then you can grab the other one. There you go. Lock it. It's locked. Okay. Use your pole to grab the back end of your boat in. See, there's a pole. The back end of the boat is coming in, and then you can step off and lock it down. The whole boat is locked down right there. Good to go. Locked down. Did it by myself. With the camcorder in one hand. Okay, I'm in now. I docked. I tied everything off. That's a different video. Watch that one. I'm tying it off. And this is a little bit short, but that's not too short. Remember I said you leave great room. You leave space. You, want, you don't want it tied really tight where if the tide goes out, your boat's going to be hanging. You want room where it could go up and down. Now, I shut the motor off already so the motor shut off only lift the bag motor when your motor is shut off do not lift that when the motor is on and that's lifting up right now out the water and when you when you're done for the day you keep it out i keep it out the water and i keep it centered out the water and centered so then this way the you don't mess up your your uh your anodes your anodes will last longer because if you got a boat in the water you always got to check your anodes because after the it eats your anodes the the little chemical reaction with electricity running through the marine and all that after it eats your anodes it's going to start eating your engine parts so you have to make maintain those now we were out for the day today i'm going to take this off right here this is the back bench i have to unbutton to take off because remember i said when you go fast you have to button it down well check the gas what we used today that was almost that little bit was almost uh was actually over a quarter tank of gas that i used if you're getting a, a boat know that they drink gas okay this right here is on the one with the radio you have to shut that key off you have to shut that key off otherwise that's gonna do a parasitic drain on your battery all right after that uh take the garment out cover it up put my anchor back and i'm done 
This is the 2020 Bayliner Element E16. I bought it in 2019 and uh, I mean, people love it. I mean, these are these are good boats. Good introduction. I would say good int the perfect introductory boat where you got a boat that's under warranty that you don't have to worry. That's not under warranty. Once you give them the cash and drive it off, you're kind of shaft. Okay, there it is right there, far away. Everybody compliments me on the orange right there. All right, talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share. And if I think of anything else, I'll fill you in.